Welcome builders, Andy is Jordi here and welcome to building a survival base on a tower, a tower survival base, block by block, tutorial, quick spin around this place while we do that. Big shout out to my sponsors, Pickle Hosting. If you want a Minecraft server, use them, Pickle Hosting, and the code Andy Zoda for 15% off. Link to their website in the description. It's a survival base, but it's on a tower. Let's get it built. Okay, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is dig a five by five hole and dig out four layers down. So there's one, two, three, and four layers down, which leaves room for a base, plus three high walls. There we go, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three high. And you don't need to do the corners, you can seal them in, and then we're just gonna bring up the walls 24 bricks in total. That's the back side. Two, four, 24. That's the left hand side. Here's the front. And the right hand side, easy peasy. Spinning the camera around gets you an idea of exactly what I'm doing. Now, next thing, upside down stone brick stairs, wrap them around the whole of the top, including the corners, and then add on to the stairs a layer of stone bricks around the outside. Like that, I filled in the corners and I filled in the floor apart from the very back as well and put some crenellations around in that sort of formation, one in the middle and one on either side. Moving. With a bit of world edit cheatery, I moved the front wall off so you can see exactly what I'm doing. All I'm doing is putting in a ladder at the back of the tower. Cool, next I'm gonna count up three blocks, then the block above it, we're gonna go for slabs. So it's a three by three slabbage <laughs> on the fourth block up. So three by three on north, east, south, and west walls. Join it up into one big square. So those three by threes, just join up the corners into one big square and then in each of the corners nibble nibble away three blocks one and then two on the diagonals and that gets you your first little platform base and then we need some stairs so we're going to count up three blocks and then add on our little staircase there you should use i think is it three or four yeah four stairs the right way up and four upside down wrap it round with some railings uh well wooden fences and we are good to go with the basics. Now it's time, time to build in first person. Oh, add a door, add a door. So let's get adding more features in, this time in first person mode, much pleasanter to watch, I think. So let's take that off there on the left hand side. We're gonna add six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is gonna make room for, let's put a little stair on the end, for the nether portal. Everybody needs a nether portal in your survival base. So add on a slab like that, and then we're gonna go for the nether portal, which is simply one, two, three, four, five. Five by five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, like that. One, two, three, four, five. And that should make that kind of rectangle. I guess that's six high, isn't it? <laughs> I can't count, but you can knock off these blocks and it kind of looks more portally like you've been actually struggling to get your obsidians. So there is your little nether portal and I am gonna grab at this stage. Oh, it's noisy. Boy, that's noisy. Shush. Are you cereal? I'm gonna add on a couple of, um, I don't think I can hack that noise right now. Let's just destroy that. <laughs> it's too noisy when I build. Right, we shall fire it up towards the end. Okay, the next thing we want to do what shall it be, what shall it be? Let's put in a couple of windows. We've got window there, very simple. Keeping it very, very Mojangy, very Minecrafty, very, very simple indeed. You could add, of course, a lot more detail and I expect if you just copy this and build it like I've done and then you can just go crazy and add all sorts of things to your base. This has been really, really fun. This simple build series on my channel, uh, I'm really, really enjoying it really enjoying it. So come inside the middle of the base like that and what we're gonna do here is place down a whole bunch of furnaces, right? So you can start baking and smelting and whatnot. It's a couple of chests for things like coal, 
and torches and whatnot and then a crafting table and then down here um, what I simply did in here in my plan was to just go ahead and add on as many of these things as possible chests like that and then just keep on uh, keep on building it up I think if you do it kind of like that it means you can stand on that one you can access pretty much everyone and if you jump over there you can access the ones down there so that's a little chest storage room at the base now we want to come around to the this this side here and we want to count out um five blocks one two three four five blocks and then we're going to put an upper slab at this level one two three one two three and then bring them out so it's a three by three little square like that get rid of your counting blocks it should be you should be able to fit five and no more under one two three five right we're going to put our first farm on and what i'm going to do is just come out by two blocks there like that we can stick on some fence as well you could go crazy with your fence color i went just for normal oak wood fences but you really could go a bit crazy with your fences if you wish so there we go that's like that now we're going to grab some grass also some wood and just put i just put a normal farm i think um making it into kind of a making it look like a normal farm actually is really fun for me i think so let's do that um, we're going to have one step, I think, up to this farm. Let me just put that on. There. So there's a step up to the farm. So these blocks here can actually go, yeah, there. So that's what we want. I'm actually going to mark this out in grass and then put the logs on top. So normal farms are 7 by, I think, 10. So there's 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then zip that up. These are just marker blocks because the logs go on top. And everyone kind of recognizes it as a farm, so it's kind of, it just looks proper, looks Minecraft. Rather than reinventing a new farm and people going, oh, what's that? It's a farm. Boo. Can't you see the carrots growing? I just like to have, oh, why, 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 Andy? Why, 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 why? Get rid of the marker blocks. I'm so hyper. I'm recording this on May the 12th. And by the time you're watching this video, I am sitting in the cinema, actually, right as you're watching this video. If you're watching it as it comes out, I am sitting in the cinema watching Alien uh, Covenant. Ha <laughs> ha, how lucky am I. Um, right, little slabs underneath. And what I do is I bring those slabs along just to there. And then, of course, you've got to put your water in and you've got to put your, your crops. I'll be right back when that is done. There we go, all planted and good to go. Now, while I was developing this, some people said, oh, it's floating, there's no support, ah, OCD. Well, I don't care, look, it's Minecraft, things float. Do it, use it, it looks cool. Right, um, we're gonna add a little um, three by four. So there's your three, two, three, and there's your four. A little three by, no, it's gonna be a four by four. four? Is it a three by four or a four by four? <gasps> I think it's a three by four. Three by four. Add those little ones in there like that, and we're gonna extend this little fence around there right that that's fine little three by four and we're going to come around to the back side here we're going to do uh, a brewing a potion room and an enchantment room so here at the back side you want to add on five bits to your back side one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five like that and then we want to do hmm i want to do a four here one two three four and then we're gonna go for uh, another one. One, two, three, four. And then the next one's gonna be a three. Oh, one, two, three. And then a one, two. A one, two, three, four. Like that. That's what you need anyway. That's what you need. Um, so this one here is actually gonna come out to five as well. And this is gonna come out to five as well like that so quite a big kind of room added on to the back so we're just going to continue our little fences all the way around like that and then here we're actually going to bring up the fence there pretty cool so far right now we want to just continue with our structure with another couple of blocks out here one two one two one two to make a little two by three area sticking on there. Now we want to make the actual enchanting room. The brewing station is going to go kind of over there, but this is going to be the uh, enchanting room as well. So we're going to go for um, a five, a line of five 
like that, and it's actually going to be five by six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then just make that one big pad here. Right, that. This is what we came up with. Partly my invention, mostly my invention, but I did have quite a lot of input from a lot of different people on the server kind of said, oh Andy, you should add this to the survival base, you should add that. In fact, I developed it on a live stream, so a lot of people actually uh, in the live stream on YouTube were watching and kind of helping. So there it is. That I feel that's too big. Have I gone too far? I don't think it sticks out that much, guys. Sorry, we're going to bring that in like so. So there we go. A little three by three room is what you're trying to create in the middle. Let me grab some, another few items. A enchantment table, a red carpet, a chest, I guess a brewing stand we're going to need as well. So what I did was I thought this little little room here was kind of cute, especially with some red carpet on top, kind of made it look kind of wizardy, royally, magey, just looked cool, okay? Don't argue. And then we're going to stick some oak wood in the corners. Bum, 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 bum like that and oh just extend the carpet round as well it makes it look kind of roomy and i don't know i just like the color i kind of picked out the color in the red books you see it's all part of the plan it's all part of the, the mad plan a couple of chests like that hopefully i'm not going too fast for everybody uh we need some trapidorus maximus here we go trapidorus maximus on the side just to disguise the books a little touch i know it's outdoor and the books may get rained on but we're actually going to put um, a farm, not a farm, but an animal pen above this. Um, someone in the stream says put a, put a chest right there. I thought that was a good idea. That was a very good idea. Oh, we can even, actually, you could put that back on, right? Very cool, very cool. So we are getting there with this. We're gonna come around to this side here just to finish off the little uh, brewing room. So we wanna make this three, sticky out by three. One, two, three, like that. And this is gonna go one, two, three, four. And that's enough. That's big enough for this little room here. Zip it all up with some health and safety, like that would do, I guess. I guess that would do. Um, what did I do? I planted some soul sand. I've, I've left my soul, I've sold my soul sand to the devil. Uh, here we go, soul sand. And I think, I, what did I do? Like something like that with the soul sand and then stick some nether wart on it. I don't know what that's all for, but people were like, oh, Andy, you need this and you need that in a brewing room. I don't know what you do in nether wart. And this, I guess this is for your lapis lazuli. Apparently lapis lazuli you put in your, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a survival noob, okay? But I've enjoyed making my first survival base. I really have. It has been good fun. Actually, do you know what? You, you could do that. I haven't done that in probably the, th the thumbnail probably doesn't have that. <laughs> but you could do that if you wanted, if you think it looks good. Uh, jury's out for me, jury's out for me. What I, I think what I did do in the thumbnail was that. I don't think I had the extra. Probably can't be seen on the thumbnail, to be, to be honest. So up to you if you add those extra little fences. I didn't have that in my in my master plan, that is for sure. Alrighty. Uh, I think I did have them, though, like that. So we've got little brewing room. Actually, you could probably bring these up as well. Little brewing room, enchantment room. We are pretty good to go. Something I did add at the back here was uh, a little garbage disposal. A little garbage disposal. So we'll go for adding on six more blocks, two by three at the back like that. And then bring that along there like that. And then, yeah, some garbage disposal. So um, let's get a locket of bava and some wobbleton calls and some iron bars and we still need a trapidorus maximus like this so uh the lava the lava is going to go where's it going to go lava's going to go right here it's going to be your garbage disposal when you don't want things but you don't want your mates to have them either put the wall around it like that what else did we invent we invented um some walls that go up there like that just to stop you wandering in by accident it wouldn't be very healthy at all and then did we go double double iron bars in fact double layer and then back to walls as well i can't remember someone helped me with this design i thought it was quite cool sorry if i can't remember who, who it was 
it's quite a team we have on UTB. When I build, people like to suggest a lot of stuff. Uh, here is the fence. I'm very grateful for. Very, very grateful for. Dude, wow. Could I place any more wrong fences? Oh my goodness. Um, one thing I did do, I thought, was I brought this fence a little bit of a support. I think the support came from here, like that. Just as if it was holding it up. I mean, I haven't got the rest of the place being supported, so I don't know why I did this, but I did do it. Um, so don't don't ask me why. <laughs> I have no idea. There's your little garbage disposal, and there's a, la a little trap door, maybe something like that, on top. Drop your stuff down into your lava. Go on, buddy. Oh, he doesn't want to go. <laughs> Hopefully, if your aim is better than me, it would go in. Right, what is going to be next? Well, next we're going to continue the stairs up here. Just before I do that, I did notice that I think I did this in my plans. I'm pretty sure that the one over there that I've built, I've done I've done this all the way like this. Just to cover up the, the dirt. The dirt doesn't look great from under neath so that's there like that I, I don't do it on the animal pens later on the animal pens at the back I haven't I haven't done it um, up to you up to you guys definitely up to you right some stairs to come up so we're gonna go for six blocks of stairs there's three the <coughs> three the right way up and three upside down and what I like to do is put an extra slab right there just to just finish that off it looks so so much better um, and then we're up to this level here. So it's going to be kind of this level here. What I want to do first of all is go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then come around to the side here and do kind of the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It makes a very enclosed kind of area under here, which I actually quite like. I think it's quite cool. Um, so that's kind of the, 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 the almost, almost the structure that we want. Um, what we want to do obviously is kind of finish off this corner here. So to do that, I'm going to add on a couple of fours. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and a three. So the three goes right here. One, two, three. Now under here again, you can add a little slab where it kind of just joins on to the stairs, and it just makes the stairs look like they're kind of connected. I like it. I do like that. Right, round the corner here, um, in the middle, what we can do is put on just a little slab there like that, because we're going to step up into the the farm next. So we're going to put on that slab there and we'll go for maybe one more slab. In fact, let's just go crazy. No, in fact, two slabs is fine. Two slabs is fine. Um, around the corner again, we're going to go for uh, a couple of fours. One, two, three, four. Um, is that right? Do we want another four here? Hmm. I think we do. One, two, three, four. How do we turn the corner here? Um, we're actually going to put that block there and then just do that and do that. And that kind of makes that corner cut out. Let's start wrapping some fence around. We'll do the rest of that later on. We're gonna get our second farm built. So wrap your health and safety fence around there like that. Pretty smart. Uh, stepping up again, stepping up to the farm. Now we've done one farm already. So let me quickly remind you, um, we're gonna place that block right there is going to support and it's going to be three one two three and that makes seven by ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember how to do this? Remember how to do the the farm? Guys, I'll be right back when the farm is done. Ah <laughs> just just before I put the farm in. Sorry, got the they got the level wrong. Ooh, what a plonker. I got the level wrong, sorry. You want to be able to step onto the farm and not jump up onto it like that. So that that that's the level, that's the level you want. What I was going to do off camera, this is going to sneak sneak behind the behind the scenes. Andy cheating. <laughs> there you go. That is the farm all joined on, and you want to just put on an extra little bit of a a slab there to join it onto the Nether portal to hang it. So even though this is kind of floating, <laughs> the Nether's got some support, even if nothing else um, does. Yeah, uh, another little bit of fence across there like that, and then around to this side here, and we're gonna climb up again. We're gonna be climbing up uh, kind of at this level like that. I can just put that under pieces as well. There we are. So yeah, we wanna count at this level, so we wanna get this corner 
correct. We don't want to make any mistakes. And it's very simple. We're just going to go uh, one, two, three, like that. One, two, three, one, two, three. So this is actually quite a square corner. You could cut it off if you want, but I just like to make that a square corner. And that leads us on to the next level up. And we're getting there. We're getting there. We've got some animal pens to do at the back, and then we're getting towards the top of the tower, which is pretty cool in my books. Okay, what do we want to do up here? Hmm. Is this right? Have I done this right? I think this looks pretty good for me. Um, add on your extra slab under there, because that looks kind of cool when you do that. Uh, one, two, three. How are we doing? How are we doing? I think this is okay so far. We're going to put that there and that there. Yeah, that's looking all right. Happy with that. Happy with that so far. All right, to make this really, really simple, we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three again. So a little nine block square like that and then just simply join it up like that and I'm going to knock off the corner there. Uh, the next one we're going to come around to this side and go one, two, three like that. We're going to place another couple just there and put on a staircase. The staircase is going to be right there. We'll come back to the staircase in a minute. Again, I just want to join up the corner here like that makes it really easy to build and then we're just going to knock off um what we're going to knock we're going to knock off that one that one and that one so it's actually slightly uneven you could make it even if you wish but i like it kind of a little bit higgledy piggledy it is after all fairly asymmetrical on this side because of this staircase here right the next thing we want to do is uh, go up here to put the final level on the tower the final level, you need to count up three blocks here. One, two, three. And then on the next one, I'll put an upper slab. And <clears throat> it's again these little shapes of three on each of the sides. Little three by threes on northeast, south, and west facing sides. <clears throat> and again, it's simple, simple, simple. Just join it up. Missing out the corner, but just one, two, three, one, two, three, and zip up the middle. And the staircase is going to come up here and lead up into this next level. So do the staircase in a second. One, two, three. Oops. One, two, three, and then zip up this. Are you enjoying the survival base, simple build kind of style? on my channel. Is that what you want to see on my channel? I think they're fairly popular. So if you want to see more of this, be sure to subscribe. And also show me a bit of support by hitting that like button. I'm also going to lop off another couple of bricks from each corner. This makes a super simple way of building. There we go. And then run your oak fence. Dun, dun, dun. Why was the fence tired? Because it had been running around the garden all day. <laughs> Those jokes though. <laughs> Please stop, Andy. Look like that. There we go. Definitely missing some doors and some windows and things. Going to go around and put in doors and windows. Let's put that window in for a start. And let's put a door in here for sure. Let me get grab a door. Pretty easy putting a door in, really. It's just an open and shut case. There, we're going to put a little platform there. So you've got another platform here. This could be a bed. It could be a storage room. Uh, you can come from down. So the idea is you come in, come in the main door, come in these steps, come in the main door, go up the ladder, and then you can come up to whatever stage you want. But this stage is pretty good because you've got enchanting room and so on. Farm on that level up here to this farm. And then you can come round here all the way up here. Ah, right. We need to do this staircase here. So we're going to go for another usual staircase just until we actually get up and into where we want to be. So we need to knock off all those blocks there so we can actually climb up. Oh, there we go. And we're up. We're up onto this level right here. And what we could do is again put a door on this level and knock away in. And then you've got another room up here, everything accessible, and of course you can climb up onto the roof if you wish. Actually, I'm going to take out these blocks as well. A bit more room up here now. 
Right, now we're on to the animal, the animal pens at the back. Three animal pens. I know you might be saying it's difficult to get your animals up to these pens, but it's actually possible if you just use your wheat or carrots, whatever it is, to attract them up a nice big temporary ladder at this side. You might see me do that in a minute. The animal pens are accessible in a number of different routes. So one of the routes is to come from this farm here. So on the fourth block along, we're gonna put an upside down stair. So it's one, two, three, upside down stair. And we wanna go up for a count of two up the way stairs. And then we're gonna go for, I think, hmm, how many slabs? I think there's one, just one slab there. Then we're into the actual uh, animal pen and what I want to do is make this animal pen line up with the farm so it's going to be 10 10 blocks in total like that and of course you're going to put um, I had to decide on the actual how I've forgotten guys sorry let me let's come to me one two three four five six seven eight nine I knew it was nine I knew it was nine come on Andy be professional count it out before the video starts one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that just gets um, put around there like that. Dun, 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 dun. And then you just put some grass in at that level. There we go. So that grass goes in all the way across there. I'm just going to use a little smidgen of world edit slash slash stack stack. Oh, this is fast. Supposed to be fast, Andy. That was too much. Seven, seven turned out to be too much. Never mind. That's what we get for cheating. I'm not doing it properly. Wrap a little oak fence around this. And then this is where I put pigs in this one. So to trap my pigs up here, I made a temporary staircase all the way down to there. And I trapped my pigs up and into this area. And once you get two up there, you can start to breed them, obviously. So it's just a question of attracting two of them up. Uh, and to get the cows into this platform over here, which I'm about to build, I simply, um, well, what did I do? I just got the cows up to here and then I attracted the cows into the next one. So there's the first one there. Not too shabby, I don't think you'll find. Right, now it's on to the next one. We want a gate, we definitely want some, some gates. Um, one, two, three, four. Do you know what? This doesn't even look big enough. Hmm. Did I make this bigger than my one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is supposed to be ten wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is. It's the right width. Okay. Um, got to be happy with that so far. Let's stick on a gate. Uh, where's the gates? Gates, 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 gates. Uh, gate. Well, it's normal gate. There it is, normal cave, okay. hiding from me. So that is the one for the pigs. No, it's the cows, it's the cows turn. You can get to the cows uh, via this little uh, spot here. So we'll bring out another slab and stick on a stair. Where's a stair? Give me a stair, give me a stair. And stop staring at me. There, I'm not paranoid, I just think everyone's staring at me. Boom, boom. There we go. Good, um, and the cows are gonna, so you can go up to the cows that way and you can get up to the cows via the pigs as well. So find the middle of the pigs and replace that with a gate there and then another slab. And you wanna go up by two, I think, to get to the cows. That should make those at the same level. It does, it does. Under here, what I did was simply just extend this across. And I thought that looked okay. Not too bad at all. Right, what we want to do, don't think any counting is needed. If we just square this off, guys, we should be able to just make this into a pen. So we've gone one, two, three that side. We're going to go one, two, three. That should line up. Doesn't really, but never mind. Uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. And then we've got one, two, three, four on that side. So it's one, two, three, four. So really no counting needed. Just line things up. It doesn't matter too much the size of your cow pen, does it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Quick bit of cheating by Andy again. We're gonna go slash slash stack four and fun a wrench around it. A little gap there, gap there, and a gap there. And this lets you hop between your 
pens, and that means you can go and collect your wool, your meat, and your piggy wiggies uh, as well, I guess. Okay, how are we doing over here? How did that staircase connect up? I do want to do uh, this underneath, and also that. I just bring this right along to the same kind of thing right here. Absolutely the same kind of thing right there. I'm also do that as well. We want to come down by two, just exactly the same as we've done on the other side. So that should be completely symmetrical. Doesn't matter too much if it's not absolutely, completely, ridiculously perfect. Hopefully, if I kind of hold the camera there, you can see exactly what I've done. I count the blocks. Oh, underneath here, it was quite cool just to do kind of that. I thought that looked kind of cool. It's kind of a unique style. <laughs> You've got to say that no one else is going to be doing it like you're doing it, Andy, that's for sure. Um, how big? I want this pen to be exactly the same as this pen. So how? So it was, we go out by we go out by four and we line up with the end. Right, so, okay, I've got that, I've got that, I've got that. Right, out by four. One, two, three, four, and then line up with the end of the farm. There we go. Couldn't be easier. Out by four. One, two, three, four, and then line up. And we're going to do that pen exactly the same as that pen. So be right back when that is done. Okay, yes, the sharp-eyed among you would have went, no, Andy, it's supposed to be at that level. <laughs> oh. <sighs> These things are set to try you. Put your fence, put your slabs down by one block. So you see the grass lines up. And there we go. We're nearly finished. That's practically it. There's hardly anything else to do. Um, just a little bit of a, a window. We could put a window in here and on this side as well, which is kind of cool. Um, a door is there. Just put some, obviously you'd obviously put torches everywhere just to make sure no mobs were gonna spawn and so on you can just spam those torches around wherever you want oh do we want a, a window here we do want a window here i think something like that would be pretty good a few more torches at the back maybe one under here kind of dark under there just spam them about but i would say that that is pretty much it uh definitely going to attract your animals up here but there we go a survival base tower let me know what you think in the comments. Here's one with lots of animals on it. This kind of adds a bit of atmosphere to the whole deal. Uh, I've really, really enjoyed building this, inventing it, working with the builders on my server to bring you a survival-based tower. Hopefully it's inspired you to do something similar, maybe something different, maybe it's just got you back to building in Minecraft. I feel that's the aim of my channel, is to get people back to building, either starting or coming back to Minecraft and getting inspired and enjoying it and just really going for it. So there we go. More projects coming up very soon indeed. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you next time. Time. Mime. Lime. I like limes. Hmm. Move on, Andy. End of video. Ciao, ciao. With the blocks. Be with you.